We're going to wrap things up by talking about strict typing in the context of array functions. Now let's start things out by creating again a really simple greet function in here. We'll start out by defining this out immediately as an anonymous function. And I'm going to accept in the greeting that I want to return from here. So just really simple in out value. Let's go ahead and var dump on this just so we can see where we're at. So I'm going to invoke this and I'm going to just kind of pass in hey to this. Let's give that a refresh and sure enough, we just see hey. Now in a normal function, you can type in any of the arguments that you pass through. And that is exactly the same when you're using an arrow function. So I can say, well, I'm only going to allow a string to be passed through to this function. Now, if we just come over and give that a refresh, we get exactly the same thing. Uh, we will get kind of exactly the same thing if we do pass, uh, say, a, an integer through to here. It's still going to give us back the value that we asked for, just in string form. So it's almost like it's converted it over to a string. And that's just because we haven't declared strict types. So if we were to go ahead and declare strict types in PHP, this will actually error. So it's really a personal preference of either your project yourself, whether you declare strict types. That mean, means that we cannot physically pass an integer or a float through to a function that expects a string. So if I return this back to hey, sure enough, that works. Now, uh, a great thing about this as well is if you're used to within a function declaring the return value that you expect and the type of the return value that you expect, you can also do this as well. Now, just to demo this out beforehand in terms of a normal function, let's go ahead and create out that function again as a normal function. So we know that we're expecting in a string greeting here. We create a normal block in here. And if we wanted to declare the return type of this function, we can do so with a colon, the return type that we expect, and then the block. So if I just return out the greeting here, then we run this. Sure enough, that works in exactly the same way. And if we go ahead and say pass one in, that doesn't work. And if for any reason we accepted this greeting in, but we return, say, uh, an integer from here, we'd also get an error because we're expecting a string. Whereas if we're expecting an int out of this, that would work. So hopefully that makes sense if you're new to type hinting in PHP. Now, like we've just said, we can declare with a normal uh, anonymous function the return value that we expect. We can also do this with a arrow function as well. So we just use a colon after here before the arrow and we declare the type that we want to see back from this. So you can see that that works. If, for example, we try and return the value one from here, we get an error and so on and so forth. So we can still declare the type that we're expecting in and the type that we're expecting out. And this works for classes and interfaces as well. So let's just wrap this up with a really simple example where we look at creating out a user which is constructed using an ID. So let's say we're accepting in an ID into the constructor of a class. We're going ahead and setting that ID to a property. So let's say we have a public int in here called ID. And down here, what we want to do is build up a list of users, map through them and extract their ID out as a user object. So the users array would be a new user in here. Maybe we could pass a ID of one in. We'll have another new user in here with an ID of two. So if we just var dump real quick on this users array, we've got a uh, an array of two items both being objects and we've got an id of one and two okay so now that we've got this in here we can go ahead and map through this so beforehand once again we would use array map here or whatever function you're doing to manipulate a particular array you would get through a user in here which you could type hint because that array contains an array of user objects and then you could go ahead and return the user id in here and we know that these are integers, so we could also say that we wanted an integer to be returned. Let's go ahead and var dump on this, and we will of course see a list of user IDs, much like we saw before. The only difference is we're dealing with a user object now. So we can again switch this over to an arrow function, but we can keep the type hint here, we can keep the type hint here as well. So let's go ahead and just grab the return value, get rid of this return value, get rid of the block, switch that out for a arrow, and we're good to go.
that gives us exactly the same thing. So as well as type hinting on primitive types like this, you can also type in on objects uh, and interfaces as well.